Well, starting today, striking nurses at five Alina hospitals will head back to their jobs. On Thursday, the majority of the Minnesota Nurses Association voted to approve the latest contract offer, entering a nearly six-week strike. That came after a marathon 17-hour negotiating session at the governor's residence earlier in the week. Rachel Slavic joins us live from Abbott Hospital with details on that new contract. Rachel? As May, in just about an hour, nurses will return here to Abbott Northwestern for the first time in 41 days. And it's not just here, they'll also return to work at Unity, Phillips Eye Institute, Mercy, and United after what were several months of contentious contract negotiations. The hospital and the nurses union have been trying to come to a contract agreement since back in February after four prior contract negotiations failed. The sticking points boil down to workplace safety and insurance. Nurses wanted more safety measures in place. They got that in this latest contract with 24-7 security in emergency departments. They also received a 2% raise. Now, as for insurance, the nurses will be phased out of their health plans by 2018, but Alina will contribute to their health reimbursements and savings accounts. Now, in total, about 4,000 nurses will return to work. We're told about 630 did cross the picket lines over the strike and about 200 left Alina completely. Well, Rachel, do we have any idea exactly how much Alina paid all these replacement nurses? Well, Lina wouldn't give an exact figure for this strike, but we do know in that strike back in June, it cost the hospital $20 million, and that was just a week-long strike. Esme? All right, Rachel Slavic, thank you so much.